Hey, what is up? Hello, you guys. My name is Nick, and you are still not watching Disney Channel, so if you have not caught on yet, sorry about it. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that's very important to me as a pet owner, and that is reasons why you should not go to Petland or buy a dog from Petland. And once again, we're going to have a very special guest joining us. just asleep and I woke him up so I'm really sorry for him but if I'm gonna talk about pet stuff I have to talk about it with my pet <laughs> he's the cutest thing here's my baby <laughs> okay so let's just hop right into it okay so Petland moral of the story is their dogs are bred puppy mill style which is pretty much when they breed dogs as if they're making cars or something in a factory where they're literally breeding these dogs just to be sold and so their quality of life is poor and when i tell you it's like awful no animal should ever have to experience that so pretty much these dogs like the dogs that give the birth to mothers are being given these drugs they're being forced to produce more than their body can actually handle which produces these really sick dogs and then they go to petland and you know since petland is a business they do want to make profit but petland sits here and leaves their dogs in these awful conditions their dogs are probably on like a lot of drugs and stuff. Not like bad drugs. It's weird to explain. It's not drugs that are harming them. Like it's not the drugs. But at Petland, these dogs, they don't get a break at all really. Because there's always people there during the day that want to play with them and they're tiring them out. And then if the dogs aren't playing with people, they're in these tiny little cages with probably a ton of other dogs. And you're like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're sleeping. When in reality, they're beyond exhausted because these dogs are going non-stop and don't ever get a break or just like constant human affection from one person. And with all that being said, I'm about to tell you guys a horror story that actually happened to one of my old teachers. So she had three dogs from Petland, all of them extremely sick, but one of them in particular had a very sad story. So she got her dog from Petland and she literally had to sit here and drive her dog six hours up to Ohio about once a month because her dog had this really rare condition to the point where there was only one doctor that could help it. It had like this weird brain tumor and there was only one veterinarian that knew how to like help the dog out. So she was driving up to Ohio to keep this dog alive, which is very expensive, you guys. And then on top of that, the dog couldn't keep down half of the foods it was digesting. And the only thing I really liked to eat were chicken nuggets. Kind of, that's kind of funny and cute. But like, that's awful. And then after all of that and after all the work she put into it, a year later, the dog still sadly ended up passing. And then she still has the two other dogs and they're still extremely sick and have all these health problems. And the reason for that is at Petland, they're not actually caring about the quality and life of these animals. They're literally just sitting here trying to make a couple of bucks off of them. And that's not what animals are meant for you guys. And you go into Petland, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Like I love playing with the dogs and stuff. And yes, it is cute to play with the dogs, but at the same time, those dogs aren't being treated well behind the scenes. Like they're being mistreated and those dogs are miserable and Petland isn't doing anything to help them out. You know what the worst part is? Petland puts a warranty on your dog where if your dog, I think it's if your dog dies within 30 days, I might be wrong, correct me if I am, but they will give you a new dog for free. Like that's not how that should work, guys. When I tell you that's just cruelty, like <laughs> I literally can't even... I don't know what to say about that. That's, that baffles me. Like that just absolutely baffles me that they put a warranty on a life. How would you feel if you had this guy, my little puppy right here, and they said, Yeah, if you have your dog for a month and something happens to him, we'll just replace him. You can't just replace this one. You can't just replace his personality, the love and affection. You can't make another one like him. And I guess this is a very like important topic to me because I just, I'm such a huge lover of animals and I have one of my own and he is my pride and my joy and my kiddo and puppy, stop licking my face. He is my pride and my joy and the love of my life. Dogs just shouldn't be mistreated like that. Ever. The long story short, the condition that these dogs are being bred and raised in are just awful and terrible conditions. They're literally being bred to be sold. They're not being bred because they just want to bring a beautiful life into the world. 
or because they want to give this dog to a loving owner who genuinely wants one. It's no, we're going to make some money off of selling these dogs and we don't care how cruel we treat them behind the scenes, which isn't okay for any matter. And that's why I don't go to Petland. That's why I don't support it. I won't even walk into the store because I don't want to give any money or any publicity to a place that's treating animals so poorly. It's ridiculous and it's not right. And it ticks me off because nothing, like no living being deserves to be treated like that, all in all. So yeah, Petland is a no-go for me for sure. And hopefully after this, it's a no-go for you guys too. But yeah, so I didn't get into extreme details because I didn't want to say something wrong. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's completely incorrect. And this is an invalid argument. Like, no, this is a very valid argument. And you wouldn't know because you go in there and it's like, oh my gosh, we're going to play with all these animals and it's going to be amazing. But in reality, that's not what it's like. And if you're not on the inside, you wouldn't know or even think to look into it. But Petland is not a good place and I will not be going anywhere near it, so. I hope that this video is insightful for you guys and you kind of realize Petland is a no-go, but of course, me and this beautiful little guy right here are signing off. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Give it a big pause up. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, and one last thing, just so you guys understand, my dog is being compensated for working with me on my YouTube videos. He thinks I have a treat in my hand right now because I just <laughs> got the bag, but I'm paying him in treats for his time and for being so obedient and helpful. As you can tell, that's all he cares about. So yes, you guys, no animals are ever harmed in the making of my videos. Here's his little treats, he loves these things. Shake, give me a paw. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got that on video. That's the cutest thing. Shake. <laughs> Why am I fangirling over my own dog? He does this all the time. All right, so yes. Thank you, puppy. Mwah.